Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. It has been an ongoing request to talk about what do I have on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it is. What do I have? I break them down according to notes or sections. So there's amber, there's nutty fragrances, coconut fragrances, chocolate, Middle Eastern, so forth, so on. So we're going to slowly go through them, or should I say video to video, I'm going to break them down to the ones that I have in each section. So for everyone who has eggs, what do you have in your collection, Claudia? These videos are for you. All right, so we are talking about chocolate, okay? So I have Jezebel. Jezebel is going to be your chocolate kind of pear this is a going out fragrance. So this is Jezebel. Um, my next one is going to be Crystal. Crystal for her. Uh, and I think I have it turned around. Uh, Crystal for her. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm at a bad angle trying to show this to y'all. <laughs> But this one is milk chocolate. So this whole section is milk chocolate. Um, this, I, it's crystal for her. Crystal love for her. So this is this one here. Uh, it's, it's like a milk chocolate shake to me, honestly, is what I get from this one. I have Aurum. And now this one is by Georgioff. Uh, initially, I think it was under another name. This is beautiful. If you want to start off with a Georgioff fragrance, I'm, I, I would say get this one. This is Aurum. This is, oh, this is good. I, I'm constantly reaching for this one. I have Velvet Chocolate by Theodorus. Uh... Kilatines or kilotones. I, I never say his last name right, but this is velvet. It's, it's literally what you think. It is a velvet chocolate, like a velvet chocolate cake, basically, in a bottle. Uh, and to round off my milk chocolates, uh, this is Dua's version of chocolate. It's called Chocolate Affair. This is amazing. Best purchase best purchase from Dua. This is going to last me so long. Okay, so let's talk about the cacao chocolates. Okay, who doesn't know about Billie Eilish? Okay, this is the original Billie Eilish. Uh, so this is the one I like the most. Um, but this is, it has this gorgeous cacao type note to it. So I have Billie Eilish. Here's another one. I know you won't be able to see it and I apologize. Uh, but this is Chocolate Greedy. I use this one a lot uh, as a layer. So it's not really much to talk about with Chocolate Greedy. It's one that my daughter and I share. Um, it's feeling kind of light. So I think we kind of probably coming to the end of it. But this is Chocolate Greedy. I don't know if anyone has, uh, has ever heard of this one, but this is called Serendipulous. This, uh, three. So I think there is like a one and a two. I happen to only have the three. This was a really great find. Uh, funny, funny fact or fun fact. I found this actually at a TJ Maxx. Um, didn't pay a whole lot for it. Loved the name of it. So I got it. But it's a very simple fragrance. It's just, um, what is in this one? It is just vanilla, cacao. Um, hold on, let me see. Let me smell it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to familiarize myself. It's vanilla, cacao, and bitter orange. But it, it was a, it was just like a, I found it. And I really enjoyed it. It's called Serendipitous 3. I uh, don't really know where my full bottle is. <laughs> so I kind of think someone got me. 
but this is sex uh sexuality by pink mahogany and i happen to have it in the 10 mil um i do have a full bottle of this not quite sure where it's at so i guess it was about time that i went through my collection because now i gotta start asking some questions of where my fragrance is this is such a sexy cacao fragrance it is it's just gorgeously sexy uh so i have sexuality and keep in mind i do have a full bottle of this somewhere i, I just don't happen to know where at the moment and then to round off my cacaos is over the chocolate shop this is so many levels of gourmand with this one here you're going to get um cacao you're going to get coffee you're going to get some caramel it is literally it the coffee in it is what gives you the like a coffee shop and almost i won't say a cafe matiago but it's like a chocolate cocoa and you and you can smell it coming out of the shop when they first make it that's what this one is all right so let's talk about dark chocolate this one is by fort manling and it's called mr Benikoff, but I want to say it's called Mr. Benikoff Purple Hat, right? But all of that is not written on here, but this is, oh, this is good. Let me smell it. Okay, to remind myself, this is oh, it's dark chocolate with a little vanilla. Um, it has some um, lavender in it. But there's an oud to it, but it's such a sexy oud. This is a great unisex fragrance. Um, Fort Manly, and it's called Mr. Bonacoff, but sometimes you can see it written as Mr. Bonacoff, uh Purple Hat, or the Purple Hat of Mr. Bonacoff. Uh, it's a very long name, gorgeous fragrance. Uh, you can't have a chocolate collection and not have chocolate makes me happy. And that is what this is. <laughs> this is by Unique A Luxury. Uh, chocolate makes me happy. And it just smells like a gorgeous chocolate cake. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Okay, so let's get into the Navitus uh, fragrances or Navitus. Navitus, Navitus fragrances. And uh, this is Chocolate Queen. Um, this one is a it's it's a chocolate scent uh for me i think that is like a like a step up from chocolate greedy uh in my personal opinion it's not one of the ones that i reach the most for but um i do i do like it so i haven't uh haven't taken it out of my collection so that's chocolate queen uh but it doesn't really have a whole lot to it uh it's, it's just a chocolate fragrance but another one by Navitus that I truly enjoy is Absolutos. And as you see, this is the old bottle. So I haven't changed over to the new bottle. Uh, I love this one. This is sexy. So if you have an opportunity to get your hands on Absoluto by uh, Navitus, try it. You, you won't be disappointed. It has a beautiful dark chocolate scent to it. And to round off my dark chocolates this is newest to my collection it's called lust by chris collins oh my god that's all i'm gonna tell y'all <laughs> get a sample uh, i want to say scent splint has this you can get a sample uh, of this scent i have the, the honor of going to a uh, meet and greet with chris collins here in houston best best thing i ever did this was absolutely this is beautiful this was absolutely beautiful lust by chris collins all right i hope you have enjoyed it so far we only went over uh probably just one category in this video i make sure that i list right here what it is that we were talking about 
if you know of more fragrances that I probably need to add to my collection, or you have some fragrances that fit into this category that I haven't talked about yet, put it in the comments and let everybody else know what is in your collection. Again, this is a video to let everyone know. I'm doing several videos to what is behind me. That has been the burning question. What is behind you, Claudia? So we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned because I'm going to continue going with these type of videos. See you in the next video.